Tonight, the results of an audit performed on Macon's fiscal year 2012 budget and accounting practices were revealed to City Council. Let's head back out to Macon City Hall, where 41 NBC's Tucker Sargent is live with more details. Tucker? Now, Mayor Rickard says the public should be very pleased about the findings of this audit. The city has made several strides, great strides, since previous audits. Now, previous audits have turned up 30 or more deficiencies, including as many as 24 just last year. Now, this year's audit turned up only six deficiencies, and those came in the areas two of uh, came in non-compliance when it came to Homeland Security grants. Now, four other areas turned up in financial audit findings. The main, main area of concern for that in the financial audit findings was that too few people were employed in the accounts receivable. Now that problem was rendered and they said they do have enough people in there, they're just going to have to figure out a way to change some job duties around to make sure that everyone is held accountable and not one person is really in charge of accounts receivable. Now, this uh, 16 prior uh, audit findings from last year, most of those have been fixed. And the presenter actually mentioned that it's impressive that the city took uh, initiative to fix those findings from last year. Now, this uh, workshop is one of several that the mayor will hold this year for the public, or excuse me, this month for the public as the city plans to head on into consolidation and, and next year with the Bibb County. And the mayor is going to talk about in these workshops economic and community development, an update on the 2nd Street downtown corridor project, an update on SPLOS projects throughout the city. And at the very end of the month, the mayor will talk about his, uh, he will present his plan, his strategic plan for the city as we head on into consolidation. Now, of course, I will have you up to date on the rest of this story tonight at 11 on 41 NBC, reporting live in downtown Macon, Tucker Sargent, 41, NBC News. Lots of good news for Macon and good opportunities for the community to get involved.